Hi again everybody! In this video, we want to teach you how to change the password or the name of the Wi-Fi network to a repeater once configured, since we have made many videos on how to configure it, but not on how to modify any parameter once configured. To start the process, you must write down the IP address of the gateway, especially the first three numbers that appear separated by periods. Check from your mobile phone that you are connected to the repeater's Wi-Fi network because it will end with the letters EXT or something similar, depending on your repeater model. The problem that usually occurs is that when trying to access the IP address that appears on the repeater sticker, it indicates that you do not have access. Access the Wi-Fi networks on your mobile phone and click on the configuration icon on the right side of the repeater's Wi-Fi network. Click on the Advanced section and scroll down to see all of the functions. In the IP address and gateway section, addresses that do not match the repeaters will appear, since these addresses are the ones that your main router will give, and therefore you can only access the main router. To modify these addresses and be able to access the repeater, click on the pencil icon in the top right. Click on Advanced Options and in IP Settings, select a static IP. In the IP Address section, you must indicate an address that begins with the first three numbers, same as in your repeater. In our case, we will assign an IP address that ends in 10.55, but we could indicate any last number between 2 and 255, since 10.1 is the access address. Check how in the configuration it already appears in the range of 10 instead of 0 as it appeared at the beginning. Open your web browser and type the address of access to the repeater and now if it should allow you to enter. In the case of this repeater, the username and password are admin. When entering the configuration, select the Wi-Fi section. In this model, from the right section, you can modify these parameters of the Wi-Fi network that will be created. Name of the Wi-Fi network to be created. Password of the new Wi-Fi network. Save the changes and see how internet access will be lost, since the Wi-Fi network created will be different from the current one. Access the Wi-Fi network section and see how a new Wi-Fi network appears with the name we have indicated. Enter the new password. In this way, you can see how it will connect to the repeater's Wi-Fi network with the new password and the new configured network name. The IP addresses will match the main router, not the repeater. In this way, you will be able to surf the internet with the new Wi-Fi network of the repeater and the data that we have modified. We hope you like this video to learn how to make this configuration in your repeater and do not hesitate to leave us your comments about this configuration. 